Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Doncaster, the mobile deck building RPG. We made it through Portal 1 in the Trial of the Sunforge. We want to try Portal 2 with our Deep Wounds deck. We can't re-roll these, apparently. But I do have seven re-rolls, which I'm not using probably nearly enough. Uh, 30 HP is actually pretty close to our max, huh? Isn't it, um, 85 right now? Yeah. So, that'd be 23. Three health. I think we just go for max health though because we have our healing orb combo from the barbarism talent. And we hope for the best. Put the rest to the test. Alright then, Nox like troll. We know you're not immune to poison, which is nice for us, but you do gain anger and regen. Which is not great for us either. Hmm. Well, first things first, we're definitely cleaving. Behold. Then this is free, so we're doing that. Surge of Strength, Brew Concoction. Uh, you're not undead. You can try to gain Evasion, that's probably better for us than the armor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, take that, fiend. And then we can read for a little bit more damage. And we will ignore armor at the moment, because we don't need it. And it'd take an energy to get another card. Oh, I did turn on the little icons. So the strength icon is like a fist. The dexterity icon is like a little wing. If it takes either or, it combines those into wings around a fist. And if it's your health, you get the icon with three blood drops. So that is pretty useful for people who were worried about maybe the color of the icons and maybe not being able to see them if they're colorblind or anything like that. Hopefully that fixes it. Let's see, we can Sanguine Step, we can do other stuff. Let's do other stuff first. Build that. Uh-huh. Grievous Injury. We can get a little bit of health back. I'll take it. Now let's spend our red energy over our one green energy. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, we could Soul Search for two damage. Just draw a card. With this much energy, I think, sure. Because we don't know if this guy is going to have an Interrupt that'll get rid of my four remaining energy or not. So, well, just, okay, well, thank goodness for evasion. <laughs> oh, that would've been bad. Okay, let's get some more energy. Then we will roll the bones. Do that. Do that. Then we can substance Z and not overflow our energy. I think we have a max of eight, if I remember correctly. And then we can brew a potion. Uh, I don't have evasion or anything, so steel skin is actually what I want to use here. Get some armor. Then of unity, draw two more cards. Then we can grievously injure. Then hatch time. And we call it good. Okay, you're gaining back 17 health. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Hmm. Healing orbs, thank you. Yes, this is why we didn't take the 30 healing. Because we are doing a decent amount. We don't need our surges of strength and stuff at the moment, so let's go ahead and try and get a little bit of stuff taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we heal back that damage, and then some. And get this going. We've already inflicted two deep wounds. Okay, I'd like to cycle through to our grievous injuries again, so we can build those back up. Ow. Damage. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we got some grievous injuries. Good, good. The one game, that's a good thing, apparently. Uh, let's do these now. Get you figured out. And then I think we just win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll take it. We're back up to 82 health. That is a good combat for us. Hmm. We can make a card reliable, which should mean... Yeah, it's always condition met. So we've done that on a, one of our Grievous Injuries. Which means we always get the rebound effect, I believe. Or no, we always get the life drain effect. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, which is pretty good for us. Because then we also get more health back. I don't think anything else we care nearly as much about. Flanking's pretty easy for us to get. 
We could make Cleave always flank. Hmm. Do you care about souls? Yeah, maybe. We can make all cards deal like two more damage. That's not bad. We can transmute a card we don't like. Except I basically am fine with all my cards. So let's upgrade or reliable. I think I'm going to upgrade actually this time. Right? No, life drain's so important though. Okay. We'll reliable. We'll do another grievous injury. There we go. All reliable. Okay, we can always depend on you to make things interesting, Grievous Injury. I suppose I could have tried to re-roll those, but honestly, those are fine options as far as I'm aware, so, yeah. Hmm. Let's go ahead, get stacked up. What do you have, Slime Split? Ah. Double your maximum health and anger whenever you start an even health total. Oh. Oh my. Um... I feel like we're in danger. Okay, less danger now. Uh huh, uh huh. Coagulation. Okay, while well, you're healing yourself, I, I don't like that. Huh, you discarded a card from my deck and gained anger, huh? Well, you don't look too angry yet. I'm gonna have to be careful, though. Okay, we have a free hatchet. I'll use that. Uh, I will go ahead and do this. And then do I Substance Z? I don't think so. I don't know if you have any Interrupt cards or not yet. So I'm gonna wait. See what we get. Uh, let's Reeve so that we can get our Cleave. Okay. Uh, you're at an even amount of health. Double your max health, and you heal a bunch, clearly. So that's problematic for us. Um, I think we just need to deal as much damage or generate as many deep wounds as we can as quickly as possible. So, yeah, we're going to cycle for that. And then I'm not going to spend this. I'm going to wait. Okay, you inflict stagger. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to take like three damage after this. Interesting choice, interesting choice. Let's maybe, because we could try to go for some potions, but you're not undead, you're an elemental. And I want to deal damage. So I think we actually go with rolling the bones. Grievous injury, tower shield. Eh. I'll make one potion. Deal five damage, inflict poison seems good for us. Impervious wouldn't be bad. Let's do let's do five damage. So you don't double your max HP, in theory. I don't think you take poison first, right? It's only after playing a card. Yeah. So yes, we should be better off by doing that, I think. Pretty sure. Wait, did you prevent me from healing? What? Why? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that. Okay, well. Let's grievous injury twice, I suppose. And then figure out. Do I just do two damage? That seems meh. I think we sanguine step. And materialize, yes, for one damage, that's perfect, okay. So hopefully, you won't gain a bunch of max health. Good. Okay. I guess the poison is preventing my healing orbs from doing anything, other than... It is preventing damage, I guess, right? Because it's technically playing the card at the same time. Huh. Weird interaction. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Uh, this seems like a good Substance Z turn because we have stuff we want to play. And we can't get our cards back. That's annoying, but fine. Do that. Do that for free. Do that. Do that for me. 
And a little bit more. Okay, good, 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 good. Still on uneven amount of hemp. Okay. Still taking a bunch of damage though this combat, which isn't good for us. Uh, I could use the big Grievous Injury. You have Reliable, you have Reliable. So we're going to use the one that's not ready yet, because we want to try to generate some more stuff. I'd like to save the Deep Wounds for our next combat, basically. Um, with that in mind, let's brew a Concoction first. Oh, we can get a healing potion. Okay, okay. Let's do that. We're back up to 60. That's better. Uh, let's take a little bit of damage and basically immediately regret it. Okay. Uh, does this activate deep wound? Yes, it did. Okay. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. Victory has been achieved. But at what cost? Okay. So, more max HP seems decent. I can once again recover 30, and this time it's actually a full heal. Almost. Three off. Mm, can I reroll? No. I think we push our max HP a little bit further. See if we can't get away with it. Okay. Now, for the next combat. We've gotten two of these portal shinies shining. Get back to work before I get angry. Well, where is back to work? Is back to work, you know, actually working today? Just say, just say. Could be an A in this day and age. Healing potion, impervious, draw cards. Let's maybe do the impervious and draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. I think we take the healing potion though, because I believe I am currently impervious. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to last past my part of the turn, which is a little weird. I don't quite understand. But I will pretend I do. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Uh, are you angry? You are angry. Hmm. Ah. Intriguing. Okay, well. We don't want you to get super angry, but yeah, yeah. Clearly that's bad for us. Hmm. Let's get some more cards going. We could try the Sanguine Steps, that seems pretty good. Clearly we do this as soon as we can. We can brew another Concoction, get that out of the deck as well. Hmm. Game 3 haste. Doesn't seem super useful at the moment. Let's get basically a tower shield just because. Then we can hatch it for some damage. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't think we take more damage to try to draw another card we can't play, so no. Oh, yeah, and that was an interrupt, so all of our quote unquote saved energy would have been unsaved. Sad. So we do this. We activate. Oh, reliable here. Get a deep wound in there. Get some bleeding damage? No? No. Okay. Well, fine. Do I reeve or do I not? I think I do not. Okay, unloading a... Oh my... Okay. Well. That's a defeat. <laughs> hey, we gain more health. We unlock the weapon cleavers. Hmm. Is that a warrior card? I wonder. Let's go check real fast. So if we do the Sunforge, hmm, I'm rank three on Warrior, apparently rank four on Rogue, or close to it. Let's see. Or is it just the Sunforge where I have a weapon? Choice. I think it's just the Sunforge, right? We'll pay our five Fate Shards. We made more Fate Shards than we spent get in. Oh, choose an attribute. I do like strength and dex because you get a little bit of health and stuff, but we can try going intellect this time. The smart boy build. Smart boy build. Which may mean I don't get the choice of the cleavers. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. 
Okay, let's try to go chain. Chain gang, I guess. Uh, magical ornaments. Basic attacks deal three additional damage. Which I think you're a basic attack, a magic basic attack. Okay. Sure. Should make our chains good. Free when conjured. We could try to go Arcane Lance and just see how crazy that can be. Hmm. Try to go angry. I want to try Arcane Lance. Let's see if we can't make that work. Zap and chain. It's free chain. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try it. Uh, draw any card and Scholar gain energy, which Scholar requires a bunch of cards, which we're probably going to get to. Or Chain Merge Craft Upgradable. Okay, that seems pretty good. Let's try Stormcast. Seems interesting. And it looks like our icon for Intellect cards are kind of that Tiara, Circlet, Halo, Crescent Moon thing. Okay, draw more cards seems pretty good. Impervious at the start of battle. Eh. Cleanse all poison at the start of your turn seems insane. Yes, inoculation. I want it. I will be inoculated to the poisonous realms that we may trod upon. Okay, once again, malignant seems kind of decent since we can gain anger, and that meant, you know that makes our chain card steal one damage more. Uh, forbidden fruit. Eh? We don't have a corruption-based deck, so no. Nah. We'll take Vile blast. Okay, and then inflict three frozen and chain for free. Uh, or gain two blue and scholar. If it isn't conjured, conjure a copy at the start of next combat. That seems pretty good for playing a bunch of cards. We didn't get our extra draw card pickup though, so I'm gonna go flash free instead. Uh, and then we have Stormbolt Chain Continuity. Ooh. Triggers when played after the card of the same type. So we have a bunch of magic. I suppose that's what we want. Why? Hmm. It's interesting they made that seem smaller. I wonder why. Now, strategist gain plus three max hand size seems great. You're immune to being jinxed, dominated, and dazzled also seems great. Whenever you add a card with Mergecraft, add another... Yeah, okay, I'm out missed. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> so yeah, Stormcast here will give me... It gave me another copy. Good, good, good. Uh, gain one focus, steal damage equal to twice your focus. Nope, we're not going for focus. The amount of it in burning is increased by chains. Seems pretty decent. Oh, I should be re-rolling. I'm being an idiot. Um, so yeah, I don't want any of these. Wonderful. Um, still not great, though, so let's try to get more wonderful. Hmm. Yeah, I think early re-rolling these cards is probably the most important thing. With these re rolls 3 damage and a vile wound to the foe's deck. Interesting. Start next turn, return to your current health. That's kind of cool if you're worried about <coughs> one turn killing you. Yes. Yep. Yep, yep. Conjure a free lightning bolt card at the start of your turn. That's an enchantment. No. Okay. Ugh. Foretell 3, Corrupted, though. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. We don't have a bunch of Corruption, so we don't heal. Scholar seems likely. It still seems like a dead card, so no. Um, gain 2 energy, draw 2 cards, add a Malignant. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. We can at least draw into more chains and things. Your magic actions deal additional damage equal to your intellect. Seems pretty good for us. Ooh, replace all Malignant's cards with Forbidden Fruit. Okay, well, no. We're gonna be mindful of our future, young Padawan. Uh, we could go for the Burning yet again. Yeah, that's increased by Chain. We only have one reroll. That's decent with what we're trying to build. Chain Lightning. Echo for each point of Chain. Yeah. Uh, time Stop, though. Seems really cool. And grounded means you stick around, right? No, it means you can't be altered, copied, or imbued. Okay. 
Why is type stop... Okay. I guess because I've never seen them before? Yeah, okay. If you click on it, afterwards it'll be smaller on the screen. Okay. Chain lightning. Let's gain some more intellect. Because that's what I've chosen. So now I should get another damage out of that as well, because I have three intellect. Looks like five is our max. Makes sense. Onward! Let's see if this is crazy. Or... I don't know. It's definitely not lazy. <laughs> uh, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. So frozen. Hmm. Well, you're free, so we're going to do that. Then stormcast. Stormcast. Forest wand. Yeah. Okay. So it's, Stormcast is a good way to gain more chain and upgrade a chain card's damage. But it doesn't do any damage itself, so I need to pay attention to that, because I will probably forget. Let's be real here. So it's been like, it's been like, um, Burning increased by chain. So let's do you. You. Oh! Okay. Well, at least we have a bunch of energy for next turn. Uh, unless we get interrupted. Like that. Great. Wonderful. Everything we wanted out of life. Okay. Chain lightning. Echo for each point of chain. Hmm. Let's do this. Pays for itself, if nothing else. Deal some damage. Get some chain and damage. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if it would stop our chain lightning from proccing after a lot of stuff. Man, getting a boss monster immediately seems kind of bad for us. Not gonna lie. Stormcast. False wand. There we go. Alright. Whew. Made it through. A weeping. I did do. Okay, persistent. Hmm. That seems pretty good with our chain. Chain doesn't stick around, though. So, you're basically hoping to hold on to this one card in order to get it to proc with something else. Now, Arcane Lance is kind of a dead card for us, actually. Unless we can find more of them. So I might remove it. Or we could upgrade everything. Let's upgrade all cards. That seems decent enough. But I do have one reroll left. Okay. Corrupted Tusk Bear. I have a Malignance. Oh, you're still in my deck. Oh. Oh, I... Hmm. Figured you wouldn't stick around forever. I thought it was just for that combat, so. That might be bad. Mm. Let's go ahead and do that. It's damage. Then we have a bunch of chains, so we can do a bunch of burning. And then we take two damage. No, we don't. Okay, we took that already by drawing it. Okay, but yeah, burn damage seems pretty good. We can storm cast. Chain lightning seems pretty decent at the moment. You deal 8 damage. Let's find out. Oh, never mind. That was more than 8 damage. Fair enough. Hmm, healing seems important here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, not dead yet. Onward we will go. Yeah, considering we got an easier tusk boar after that boss. Oh well. Oh well. So now we have, what, two malignances? Yeah. So maybe I get rid of Vile Blast. Because it, it's likely to kill me. Let's be real. You also add a malignance to my deck. This is why we want that card that changes them all to Forbidden Fruit. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Um. Yep, nope. We couldn't chain that super great. Uh, no, I'll not 
add another malignant to the deck at the moment. Oh, malignants. Truly maligning my entire strategy. <laughs> what else is new, right? We have a ton of energy. So we're going to do something like this. That. That. Some more. And then, yeah, we blew through all the chain stacks with the first one. Okay. So then we just added two more. It's still a lot of damage. It's going to be 17, basically. Nine and then eight next turn. Since I doubt... I'm going to make it... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness again. Um... Do that, do that, and then I can't play you because I'm pinned, so we can only do the flanking cards. Uh, you should die to burn at the end of your turn. Right? Yes, okay. Almost didn't, though. That would have been annoying. Victory. Duplicate, upgrade all cards, have one of three random cards to your deck, and gain a reroll token. I think we copy one of our cards that has merge craft. So it could be Arcane Lance. What was the other one? Oh my goodness, we have four malignants. Well, that's that's four anger as well, but it's also eight damage. Ugh. Continuity, Conjure Zaps, Merge Craft with Stormcast. Uh, we have so many of those already. We need to be able to get stuff created. So let's actually duplicate our storm bolts in the hopes that we can, you know, actually get some damage out there as well with our chain. We need more card draw. That's really what we need to try to get this combo machine rolling, I believe. So we have Stormcast, Stormcast, Arcane Lance. You don't care about... No. You don't even care about our chain, man. Lame. So these Stormcasts are dead in our hand at the moment. So let's not even waste the energy. Okay. A Force One, get some Chain. And we can Chain Lightning. Okay, Chain Lightning is fantastic. Um, is it gone from our deck entirely? It looks like it. During this combat, I should say. Uh, we're not going to Vial Blast at the moment. We're going to save it for truly terrifying times. Dark Power. I think I'd rather do this, then Purge, then this, then hope we don't die. Yeah, uh, okay. Hmm. Not great. Let's do Surge of Intellect for... Oh, dear. I thought I was one off of that. I was not. Oh, we did get Stormbolt. We can get some more Zaps. Okay. So, yeah. Stormbolt seems to be kind of our key card. Let's remove... <laughs> I could remove Malignances. Uh, but I think I would rather get rid of Vile Blast so I don't keep adding them in. The other one lets us draw and gain energy, so I'm going to keep that in for now. And pray we find a way to make malignances into non-malignant entities. Non-cancerous tumors in the deck as they were. Hmm. So I think what I do is dark power. We get some chain from Flash Frozen. We get some more chain from you. And we can zap, zap, chain lightning. Should do a bunch. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. That is probably the most damage in one turn we've done since that super successful flanking hunter run. And it feels good, man. It feels good. Uh, what doesn't feel good is dying to these malignancies. Uh, no, it doesn't. Alright. Victory. But at what cost? 
Recover a bunch of health seems good to me. <laughs> We're gonna be clicking that a lot. Okay. Huh. Viola the Sky Swan. Okay, so we don't have any life drain things. We don't care about our 112 basically barrier. That isn't barrier, but should probably just be barrier. Uh, we will do this. We're gonna storm cast first, or no, we'll do this first. Then storm cast. What? Then you? Huh. I'm not entirely certain. Okay. Well, interesting. We made it through a bunch of health. Hmm. But maybe I need to save my super storm bolt until we can one hit KO. Mm -hmm. That was still a ton of damage, though, so I don't regret it. I just. Well. Hmm. Third of intellect. Force wand. Storm bolt. Zap. Zap. Freeze. Yes. Okay. So I think we do want to start with freeze because it just adds a chain. It doesn't use any chain. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lessons we must learn and hopefully not forget. Uh, Surge of intellect. I want to zap. Stormcast just adds more chain. Then we do that. Get some chain and purge. Okay, well, that's going to be a lot of damage if we can't do much more. Oh, except you got rid of it, right? Right, right, right. Which is why we like our direct damage more than our status damage in this game. Hmm, at least without the expansions. So, do I dare dark power? This is a question. And it's probably stupid, so no. Eh, that's only three damage. Ugh, okay. Well, I hate it, but I didn't want to add another malignance to the deck if I could help it. Okay. Uh, we've got five stacks of anger now. Eh, that's a thing. We're doing that for the chain, and then our force wand does a lot of damage. It's not the worst thing in the world. But I am probably going to die on this boss, just because we've got so many malignances in the deck that prevent our big combos. Okie dokie. So let's start with Stormcast. Zap. Stormbolt. Zap. Zap. Well, that's a lot of damage. Really glad I healed for 25. I'd be dead already if I hadn't. Good thing is the boss doesn't do a lot of damage. It's probably the only reason we're still alive, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we do that, we do this, we force wand, and then we purge, and then it doesn't matter anyway because you're going to purge the purge. Like, immediately. Right? Yeah. No? Wait. <gasps> it worked? Okay, well, cool, cool, I'll take it. Uh, we don't sort of intellect yet. We do Arcane Lance, because it doesn't matter. Then we Storm Bolt. Then we Purge. Do that, because why not? Okay. Dark Power is not Turtle Power. Calabano. Hmm. Okay, we can Storm Cast, Storm Cast, Zap. Okay, Chain Lightning, you are still in the deck. It's just so hard to get back to you. <laughs> Chain lightning! That's right. Take that, Veal. Okay, well, we're pretty much going to die soon. <laughs> Maybe we transmute one of these malignances, eh? Yeah. Uh, hmm. More things that hurt us? I guess we'll take Caltrops because it's better than cards that hurt us at this point. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. At least we tried something new. Uh, Serena Hellspark. I see. I see. We're probably going to die here. Oh, we're not dead. Take that. Okay, and then I can't Stormcast, can I? Oh, I can. Doesn't really matter, but... You know. 
Well, that was some rough RNG in terms of bosses showing up pretty quickly. Ooh, we unlocked the scepter. So yeah, I think this is just for our arena character. Being able to get those options. We're not always going to get those options offered to us though, look like. So yes. Just double checking. Can I see the weapon cards we've unlocked in arena? It doesn't look like it. Okay. But it is interesting it's on what seems to be a different track. So, if you've enjoyed Doncaster Deer Viewer, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.